small trees. Uh, I just shot an entire video uh, talking about this tree. And then I realized that I didn't have uh, the new microphone turned on. <laughs> and I am uh, about as tired of um, having issues with low volume as you guys are. So just for you, I'm going to reshoot this. I'm going to go through this really quick. Um, kind of give you an overview of what I did that I can't un, uh, undo to show you. So uh, this is one of the trees that I told you was shaded out by the um, one of my pomegranates that grew very well this year. And this is also the tree that had the root grafts done to it. Um, I know that it was planted on a board and it was screwed to the board. I can show you that really quickly. Um, so all I had to do, see it here. All I had to do was uh, basically cut around the perimeter really roughly and it come out of the ground. So uh, I'm gonna move it. Uh, I was going to put it into a um, planter box, but I don't know if I have one that's quite wide enough for the, uh, the, the wood that it's planted on top of. So uh, I may just move it kind of front and center and um, keep in mind that I may need to move it again in the spring if I do move my entire garden. So um, it is November here. It is also 90 degrees. Um, this is out of season work and I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I haven't really touched the, the roots and I don't intend to. I want to. I want to see what, we're, what kind of progress we've made, but I, I'm, I'm going to leave them intact. As you can see from the edges here, there are feeder roots all around the trunk. Um, so I'm not really worried about any kind of uh, health issues for the tree. Um, it won't become cold here quickly may become cool but um, even if it were to I have a way to keep this tree um, warm at least on the, the root base so keeping that in mind um, feel free to tell me that I uh, shouldn't be doing this this time of year and I will agree with you but I'm I'm doing it anyway because if you're like me you get uh, you get antsy when you have nothing else to do so uh, I'm gonna show you really quickly the, the root grafts and how they came out so really should get a turntable out here but um, the first that I can show you easily is here see if you can see this so let me zoom in slightly the big callus here which first things first this calloused over a lot thicker than I would have liked I'll probably cut that and redress that uh, next year once I have it growing uh, freely but right now I'm gonna let it go the this was root graft number one it came uh, straight through this was the out the growing side and the root side was on the back um, even after I cut this it decided to I must have left a node right there because it um it shot a new leader out of that but um so that was the front side and the back side of that graft is here as you can see it took well um, there is a little bit of an unusual callus here where it appears that the mother tree has calloused all the way out to here onto this uh, this grafted root which Hopefully that will continue or become less dramatic because it looks like a, a root had wrapped over it right there, but that is just an odd way that this recalus. So um, anyway, that that was root graft one and that took very well. Um, root graft two, I separated in the first uh, iteration of this video before I realized I did not have the audio. So um, it was here. It had grown that quarter thick almost. and. It goes, it's a little hard to see without, you know, bare rooting the tree, but it goes uh, down right here and then cuts out here. So this one comes out here to kind of give a little bit more of a, um, starting to close up this gap here that is kind of unsightly with the tree as a whole, but that one was very much successful. The third root graft was give me a minute to find it was here okay let's see I'll have to 
explain it out to you a little bit. So the what's the name? The um, growth side is here. It's not fully healed over yet. It's almost healed. The root that we grafted that was taken is right here, and that adds a little bit of a, um, a branching early off of the main roots here that makes it a little bit more natural looking as opposed to having three or four, you know, log poles sticking out here with nothing coming off of them. Introduce a little bit of taper and a little bit of variation, which is nice. Um, the rest of the tree, meaning all the growth up top, I'm going to leave. Um, you can see by the color of the leaves that it didn't really get enough sunlight, and that's why I'm going to move it. Um, it is going to stay on this this plank, and I was going to put it into a box, but I think I might put it back in the ground. Um, I'll take a look in a minute. I really just wanted to get the tree out of the spot where it was, open up that whole area a little bit for the rest of the growing season, because believe it or not, uh, when it starts to cool off like this, but it's still warm out, um, you get a lot of root growth. So um, I'm going to let it probably sit in the front of my garden on this side so that it can get plenty of sun. And I'll give you a little bit of a, um, of a 360 on it just to give you an idea of the, um, I guess the size and kind of the general uh, demeanor of the tree. It's kind of obscured by all of these, but just rest assured these will be cut in the spring once we decide on a leader, what direction we want the tree to go. But right now, you know, there's not really any point. Let me get a round table. Now, give you a little bit of a 360. I think get, see if I can get this camera just a little bit lower, closer to the uh, soil level. Let's see if this will do it. I apologize for the shakiness. give you a quick little turnaround. Like I said, lots of, of great, this tree's all about the root base. It may end up being a sumo. I don't know, it, it has the base for it. Um, we'll just kind of see what happens next year. Lots of early branching. When I mean branching, I'm talking about the rooting, but lots of splitting, um, which is great. A lot of the big root cuts that I have done, like this, have healed over and Ideally, we'll get roots splitting off of each side there to make that a little more of a believable split because right now it kind of looks like a just a, a cut, which is what it was. Um, this is really strong. This was two roots that are fused together. Um, it's a little too strong for the rest of the tree, in my opinion. Um, let's see. Here, this back side was a little bit weak. That is why we did the root grafts. Um, this is starting to fill in with roots uh, coming off of both here and here, but we had another large gap here, which is why we did this root graft, which is it's got interest, it's got curve, and it's splitting in both directions, so that should increase um, in size and increase the, uh, the look from this side as the, uh, as the tree grows and as the root grows. Um, so anyway, I think the original video with this was about uh, 20 minutes. I don't think I'm gonna make it that far on this just because a lot of that included removing uh, that other root graft and uh, cleaning up that wound and sealing it. But I just really mainly wanted you guys to see the, the trunk, the base of this one, because it's one that I'm proud of and I thought you guys might like it. Um, it's probably gonna go right back in the ground, is what I'm thinking. 
Um, and if I can get it in a good spot, I may just leave it in this garden and then move everything else to the new garden next year. Oh, you know, one other thing I forgot to, um, I guess, to plug here is let me get this around so it looks nicer. That looks pretty good. If you could see the, actually see the trunk, it looks, it looks pretty nice. Um, I have a few things that I'm gonna start. Um, I guess I'm gonna have a website. I'm not really sure. I'm just trying to get a little bit of um, income to help with a uh, better camera, a better mic if that ends up being what I need, and always better trees. So um, I'm gonna start selling some little things here and there, things that I think that you might be able to use, you know. Um, so for example, I got some top six that are nice. They have a channel name on them, and they're solid. Focus. Um, they're nice chopsticks. I mean, you can use them, use them in your garden. You can really use them for whatever you want, though. Um, I just thought it was a neat little thing to have. I have some that I've had for myself for a long time, and I figured maybe some other people will uh, will want them. Um, if I can ever get a website set up, I'll probably have them on there for eight dollars or ten dollars or something like that um, just an easy way to support the channel if you want to and I think that's my plug for the day <laughs> I'm not used to doing any of those um, but I hope you like this tree and uh, maybe we'll keep you going for a little while I've got a lot of trees over there to work uh, when spring gets here if it, if it does winter's got to get here first um, but I got a lot of things that I'll be showing and if I get any more ants in my pants and I decide to uh, work on some more trees, I'll be sure to film those as well. So uh, I guess I'll get, uh, <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys next time.